I'm Professor Naomi Janowitz, and I'm here to talk with you a little bit about Religious Studies 1G, Myth, Ritual, and Symbol. Why should someone take this class? Well, part of my argument is that religion is at the heart of culture. And if you want to understand culture, you need to understand religion. And we have a particularly exciting and controversial class to introduce you to the academic study of religion this fall quarter with the topic of taboo. Now, one of the things that you hear a lot about at Davis is the relationship of humans to animals. In other words, often science professors will tell you, well, there's a biological reason, it's connected to DNA, it's connected with the way humans do things because we have a propensity to that for evolutionary reasons. And all of that may be true, but what we study is the break with the world of nature and the introduction of culture, which is where people endow uh, life with meaning. And they may have very similar DNA, but all around the world, people have found profoundly different ways of endowing life with meaning. And in particular, we're going to look at taboo. Now, I like taboo because it's very broad. That is, all religions, all cultures have some form of taboo. And the two we're going to start with are going to be two of the most ubiquitous taboos, which is cannibalism. You don't eat the people who are part of your clan, of your community. These are people you eat with, but you don't eat them. And then the incest taboo. Again, in your particular family unit, you do not have sexual relations with uh, particularly understood notions of kin, which will actually differ from culture to culture. So these, with two, these are two fascinating ways to start to ask a question about how people endow groups, clan life with meaning and develop all the kinds of things that we think about in rituals, stories, myths that are passed down, rituals, ideas about the gods, ideas about the afterlife, ideas about ethical behavior, how we should act and how we should not act. So, in some ways, this is replicating the animal world because we know that, for example, in baboon tribes, there tends to be a senior male who tries to keep the junior males away from the women and keep the women to himself, and you have this generational conflict. So we're not that far from a study of animals, and if it turns out someday that apes have religion, I'll be happy to add them to our religious studies one. But what we're interested in is how people take these conflicts between generations, between fathers and their children with the idea that sooner or later the junior males, the children, the sons are going to grow up and displace the father. And then the conflict between the family and being part of the family, how do we construct the family, and how do we build with, with taboos about who can and cannot have sexual relations. And the stories about cannibalism, who you are, how we eat together as a group, and what are the rules for how we eat together, what we eat and what we don't eat, and you don't eat your kin. So what happens in religion is we study a number of stories in which these taboos are broken. And breaking a taboo is a powerful moment in which we can open up culture and look down into the heart of culture and understand how people then give these conflicts all kinds of different meanings. So I hope you'll join us with this in this investigation of taboo. And if you have any questions, you should feel free to send me an email. I'm easily available there. You can see on the website, or I'll just repeat it to you now, nhjanowitz at ucdavis.edu.